So the story, after that portion, um, I headed out to the other interview place. Why does this look so weird? And this fly is still getting on my nerves. So I headed out to the other interview place. And I asked the driver where this avenue was. And he was like, oh, um, you know, it's right when I turn. And so that's how he remembered me. Because he know he remembered that I always used to ride that bus. I was like, oh. So he turned and he got to the end. And I'm like, hmm. This is the end because I don't see the address. And it's all houses. And I'm like, it can't be houses because it's supposed to be a business, you know. And so I didn't find it. I ended up walking all the way back. And the thing, I made a big fuss about my hair on the bus because I had it all up in my clip. And then I wanted to take it down, you know, so I didn't look so matronly when I went to the interview. And I took it down. And it wasn't frizzed up or anything like that because it was kept in the clip. I guess it took the frizz out of it. But by the time I walked all the way back to the front, I went, I didn't see, you know, like a business stopped by Taco Bell and I was like no I can't spend my money in there and if I do it on the internet or something then they don't have it so I ended up walking to Wendy's went to Wendy's and then I thought at the last minute like 10 minutes before 5 let me call call them and ask them where they are and I, I was just like you know told them I was suspicious I didn't see you know any it was all apartments he's like oh it's an apartment building that looks like but it's an office office and I was like what's well, a home office and no it's an actual it's like an institute another institution okay and um, I was like, oh, okay. But he was leaving the other lady that does the interviewing and hiring. She had already left. So it's like, that was another wasted trip. I invited him, you know, I just was honest with him that I didn't drive, but I was right up the street at this place. If he wanted to stop by there and did a quick interview and allow me to fill out the application, I would appreciate it. And he was just like, oh, you know, we can set up for tomorrow. And I, was, and I just explained to him again, I'm just being honest with you. I actually do not have, um, don't think I'll have transportation. You know, today was the day, you know. And so that was it. And um, so, so, um, yeah. So I'll put the other story on, but this one since it's so short. So then I ended up coming calling back the temp agency that used to I used to thrive with, do really well with them. But what happened was I got that false accusation conviction thing. Um, they put a note on my file or something, and so I kind of figured because the lady was acting kind of funny me, funny funny with me when I talked to her. But I said, well, let me try something else. And then when I came back more positive, she was like, oh. Um, you know, then she just came forth and was like, oh, there's a note on your file that says this. And you need to call customer service. They will handle all this, that, and the other. So I called customer service. They couldn't hear me. I emailed them. They emailed me back and saying, well, your home office, which would be that office, you know, they make the decision. They can um, request another background check and all of that. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow because it should not be on So tomorrow I'm going to ask them to do another background check. And um, that's the one that handles it. And I think because I caught, it was a good thing I emailed because I think some of the stuff they were sending me to customer service for, basically, the, she was like, basically, pretty much she didn't want to deal with me, maybe. Because I think that could have been handled. The other thing she sent me to them for could have been handled through them as well. So um, that was in response to me asking her to re let me redo all the tests just to make sure I was still up to par and all my accounting and administrative and computer software and programming and all that. And, you know, the last time I tested, I think I retested everything again in 2009. And the first thing she said was, oh, your skills are excellent, you know. And she was just really excited. And I'm sure, you know, even though some skills are just transferred, I don't care if it's 15 years down the line, my typing is still going to be excellent. Data entry is still going to be excellent. My Microsoft software program, all my software programs going to be excellent because I use it at home, you know, to manage my personal life. Um, my website um, skills are going to be pretty good. There's a lot of new stuff that come out. I think the latest that I've worked on is CS5 and G Dreamweaver. But of course, Adobe, all that stuff. All that stuff's been around forever and all the variations of it. You know, I'm good. You know, and even some of the newer programming languages, I, you know, just my, by my own studies, I'm picking up on. What I do need to go to school for, I need to go and really, you know, I need to get some Spanish. The Spanish good. Because I used to, when I first came here, I learned really fast. I was so excited, you know, when I was in Miami. But since I've been up here in Broward, I don't use it much. And so I find that it's a lot lesser than it was. So um, I need to 
brush up on that in French, all the languages. Um, it's like now that I know so much about the system, I don't even want to really feed into it. But I guess to a certain extent, you have to. And I guess the smart people use it to benefit them. But it's like I'm just so pure, I don't even want to deal with them, period, you know. So I'll see what I can do about that tomorrow. And um, that's that, you know. Maybe I'll even call the courthouse and ask them if they would be willing to. They, I don't think they'll do that because I've got asked them to do that before. Send send it to me. I think I have the paperwork somewhere around here. If I, you know, get stuff together, then I can just give it to them myself. You know? So that's that portion of it. And then there's another story after this one. And that should be about it.